Well, hello and welcome back everyone. It's Huey here for another episode of Space Engineers in our red crash red ship uh, on the moon in par with Pirate's World. You won't get that out eventually. So, uh, we finally had some good news. Um, well, a couple of bits of good news actually. Uh, that's not to worry. Found myself a really nice ice cluster, and I mean these are these asteroids here, which we um, I went out and explored, are nothing but ice. They're literally nothing but ice. So it's and it's a good little pit stop because you'll see over here. Have a look what I found. Finally, after have a look at all these markers. It took me, oh, I don't know how long, like, uh, I'm guessing 90 minutes, just, yeah, and it's not a bad source of uranium either, there are a couple of little deposits, I've already grabbed one, uh, one load, but I'm going to take my ship over there, so I've done a bit more ice mining, and uh, yeah, thank goodness, because I was about to give up. I was like at the point of giving up like so much, um, I just, uh, I was over it. And then finally, yeah, I was just about to give up and found a source of uranium. Which means, after we uh, mine this stuff, I can finally start uh, working on an ion drive mining ship, which will be really nice. So. <clears throat> going to head over that way and as you can see I put the exclamation marks there because I was excited to find that stuff okay that should do it and we will burn a bit of um, ice which is good because I've, I've uh, got um, 8k in each oxygen generator and about 20k in the cargo container so I kind of want to burn up a little bit so turn our dampeners off, and let's make our way over there. So finally, finally, finally. Couldn't believe my luck. So we've had, I've had a bit of bad luck with my graphics card, and then I had some good luck with uh, the, um, the finding of this uranium. So that's been fantastic. Unfortunately, we're still getting that bug with the um, the shadows, and the, I put that down to this graphics card. It's just absolutely terrible. In fact, I won't flip it around this way just so I can get a bit more solar power. There we go. So it's quite a ways out. As you can see, the construction site or home is nearly 50 kilometers away that's how far we've had to come out to find uranium so yeah when they say it's rare um, they're not wrong and by the way didn't find any platinum uh, again like I said not like we need it desperately but yeah if you're starting um, from scratch on the hard start on the moon you're gonna have a really bad time with platinum um, you can have a bad enough time with the uranium, it seems. Like, oh my god, it was just next to non-existent. So we'll load up um, the ship with as much as much uranium as we can, and it will also be a good test to see how we go landing back um, on the moon with a full load. I think she'll handle it fine. But yeah, here we go. So what I can do now, now that I've got all these other markers um, plotted, all these GPS markers plotted, um, we can hide a lot of those so they're not clustering up my screen. I'll probably keep the ice cluster up. And I'll do a little bit of an explore here just to make sure there aren't any surprises in this little cluster. But yeah, this was quite a good find. Couldn't believe my luck. So there we go. 
So first thing I'll do is go to our inventory. We are burning up the hydrogen once again. So I'll move some of that into there just to make room in the cargo container. And into there. Let's have fuel at. Yeah, it's, it's already at 100, so there you go. Just to make sure, we'll just uh, type in ice, make it a bit easier, and put the absolute maximum that we possibly can back into our generators. And then uh, let's hop out, have a bit more of a look around. <coughs> so, um, like I said, I've already gone and um, mined one load of uranium. But what I want to do is hide a lot of these. So we go show and hide no, show and hide no. I will keep that one up because that one's going to be handy to for reference. I'll keep home up. Keep those up. I'll keep the ice cluster up because that's going to be a good uh, refueling point. MG and ice, nickel, yeah. I, I found so many different resources other than platinum. Oh, and gold, by the way. I didn't find any gold. Which is disappointing, but um, what can you do? And there we go. So, we've just got these two now on our, on our screen. And... I think there's, yeah, two more, three more asteroids we can check out. So we'll go have a look over here. What's in this little one? Nothing. And if you haven't played the game in a while, you'll be surprised to see what uranium looks like. It's barely distinguishable from um, stone anymore. Oh, look at that! Wow, okay. And I'm going to mark, see, here you go, look at this. So blink and you would miss it. You really would. So I'm going to mark this one so we know exactly, uh, precisely where it is. <coughs> and I'm going to do the same as the other two and put three exclamation marks after it. Because it is very, very exciting to have found those. Um, have we had a look at this one? No, we haven't. We have not. So there's some iron, which is uh, kind of handy. And uranium. Right over there. And you know what? I'm not even going to bother um, trying to find it. I'm going to drill a hole straight through to the source. Just to make it easier. See, that's changed up now. So we want to drill a little bit around it, make itself a bit of a man cave. There we go. Don't want to drill out too much of it, because this stuff is precious. Okay, so we head back out the hole. And then we're going to mark it right here, so we, can, so we know exactly where we can travel to um, hand mine this stuff. So we go new from current position, and we're going to change that to FE and UR as well. And I think it's just this one. No, we've got marked that one. We've marked this one. This one, by the looks of it. So what do we got over here? Probably more of the same. 
because they've changed the clusters up a little bit, they tend to have a lot of the same resources. So the fact that it's a it, well, that we found uranium and all, and the fact we found it in a cluster, is in extremely fortunate. And the fact that I've interacted with these asteroids now means they will stay put. There's iron. So we head to the iron. What have we got over there? I think it's those Mayday things that keep popping up. Ah ha 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 ha! Gonna do the same here. Yeah, I'm gonna draw straight through the iron. Don't care. Can find plenty of that. Straight to the uranium. And I probably won't do the man cave thing there. Because getting a bit of iron wouldn't hurt, but not that we need it right now. So then we mark this one. You from current position. F, E, and U, R. Exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. Okay, so... Next up. There was one more asteroid it keeps popping up. That's uh, kind of scary. So how far... The ice cluster is 14 kilometers from here. That's not too far. How close are these? Alright, so this is part of the cluster. These two are as well. And then we've got another little one. Two more little ones. And that'll do. I won't even head over to that one. Maybe at a later date. <coughs> so. I want to mark exactly where the uranium is. It's right there. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to chip out a bit, out a bit out of the side here, just so we can see a little indentation. There we go. So I'll mark this as well. GPS, you from current, you are. Okay. There's that one. And there's some more there, too. So, this, this is... Oh, wow, look at the... I mean, you can barely see it, cause it, but you can see the speckled patterns. This is a huge chunk of uranium. This is most fortunate. Very salubrious. And I think that's it. Just this little one here. I don't think there's much here. No, there is not. That will do fine. Thank you very much. Oh, there's something else here too. Iron. So we better change that. Uh, crap, which one was it? I'm guessing the last one. So if we actually, good way to test it. Yes, if we change that. To FE, comma UR, and then put it on show on eight, eight, uh, show on HUD. That should bring it back up. Um... Or is this one we just didn't mark? Oh yeah, no, here it is. Okay, so there's more uranium here, more iron. Okay. Alright, so let's head back to the ship. <clears throat> Which isn't that way. 
Where is that shit? Pepper was up this way. Where are you? Oh, you're over there. Alright, so... I might grab some of this. And I would prefer to make a hole. Actually, I think I've already done a hole over here. So I head over to this one. Yep. I already did it. Oh, this one's the one with the um the iron, so okay. I guess we'll take a bit of iron with us. So yeah, they're very indistinguishable from uh, stone. So very hard to spot. So, it's not a bad change, actually. Let's pick up some more of these. This one. So you can see they're very, very light. So you only get um, tiny amounts. burn up too much energy. So I've got to uh, watch that. Got any more floating out here? Yeah, we do. That's fine. We'll head back. Uh, da, 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 where are you? Purple wasp. Down here. So I'll head out. Take it nice and easy because I don't want to die here. <laughs> and we'll put some uranium. Because we've also got the connector too, so we can fill that up. <coughs> which would be handy. So if we go to the cargo container. And we'll throw some iron in there as well. A little bit of iron. Oh, this will be exciting. Very exciting indeed. Let's get ourselves a decent supply of uranium. And then... We've got a choice, really. I mean, I can either just keep going with uh, the base. Yeah, there's a mayday over there, and it's not far, so I don't want to head. I don't want to head over there. <laughs> so I can just keep going with the base, or I can um, build myself a mining ship. Either is a possibility. Okay, this is a big chunk of uranium. So, here's what I want to do. I want to go hit three. What's this? Military escort. Okay, that's fine. Counts as a cargo ship. So make myself a nice little pocket. Too much of this stuff doesn't go floating off on me. There we go. So now, just do this. So you 
see how slow it is to mine this stuff. It's quite slow. So, oh, where am I? Um, oh, ah, here we are. Let's go pick up the rest of this stuff. Got some more there. Very hard to see, too. So, against its own backdrop. Um, Very, very hard to spot. Yep, there's another one I missed. Another one. One out here. Some more out here. Oh, and another one. And another one. So it's going to take a little while to fill my ship up. I'm kind of glad I didn't go for a large cargo container job. And this is with the Elite Drill. So you can imagine <laughs> what it's like with a, just a standard hand drill. Any more? Is that it? Oh, drill a little bit more. Another one. Ah, uh, that'll do. So what do we got? Yep, it's all uranium. So we'll head back to the ship. I'm trying to remember which way. Pick up a wasp. It's over there. No. There it is. So I think we're set with this in terms of power. <coughs> Excuse me. I need the only problem is, oops, it's going to take um, some long journeys to get out here. So probably best to get a mining ship done sooner rather than later. Let's see. Uh, we're at nine one oh seven. That's fine. Let's head over here. Where did I find uranium? Oh, eighty point four meters, so down here. So there's also iron in this one. I'm not even going to bother changing the markers though. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Start drilling another hole. This one's a shallow, fairly shallow lot. So I'm probably picking up a lot of stone. Yeah, I am. So we'll drop that. God, I got more stone than I got uranium then. Jeez. Oh, can't let you escape. What are you? Uranium? Yeah, can't let you escape. Uranium, whoop, stone, stone. Oh my god. Well, that was a. That's not a particularly good deposit. Well, maybe it is. I just happened to pick the shallowest part. Yeah, let's get rid of this stone. So we'll pick it up make one big ball of stone. 
More stone. More stone. More stone. Uranium. Stone, stone. Okay. Well, not to worry. Drop this over here. It's a big ball of stone there. More of it. Um, more there. So this probably wasn't the best spot to mine. It will be good to come back in a mining vessel. This is all stone. Are you kidding? I don't know. Uranium. Hey. Drop this out here. Well, that was a waste of time. Complete and utter waste of time. Uh, that, that's not our. It's, it's not ore. Oh my god, we're going to another spot. Yeah, this is useless. Right here. Yeah, we're going to another spot. Screw this. What about this one? Aha! That's more like it. Take a little while, especially to fill up our ship. Should have quite a few to pick up now. Yep. I thought that was a. <laughs> oh dear. I thought it was a hole like that. Yeah. So this stuff plays tricks on the eyes. Energy low. Maybe it's the radiation. Are we full? I think we are. Yep. Totally full. Gotta remember this one. So a way to remember it, actually. Is to put another GPS marker down. So I'll just make that one a temporary one. And that should speed things up a little bit. So I'll dump that in our container. So that's full now. Uh, so cross that out and dump this in our connector. 
and then we've got room in our cockpit so definitely want to fill this up as much as possible could even put some in the seats but yeah this is our this will be our supply of uranium unless we by some chance happen to find some closer which I highly doubt but uh, yeah that's uh, that's been our uh, successful mission in finding uranium and trust me you, you will be glad that I spared you most of it so <laughs> So with that said, we're, uh, we're a little bit over half an hour, so I think we'll leave it there. So thank you so much again for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed that. And, uh, yeah, that new discovery of what uranium looks like, if you blink you miss it, that uh, was certainly a eye-opener for me. <laughs> but as usual, folks, um, until next time, take it easy, and bye for now.